Surely you have already heard about the English Channel which divides France and England by the sea, this channel is known for many historical events that meant a great change in the history of Europe. More specifically those that are and linked to France and the United Kingdom. For example, this channel is known to be the reason that saved England from a Napoleonic invasion. And also from the Nazis during World War II. Therefore, due to the great historical wealth that this place keeps, many venerate it as a place that had great importance in past centuries and will probably also have it in the future. Today we will see what is the origin, history, and reason for this curious name of the canal. Regarding the main characteristics of this channel, it is known that it has a length of 563 km and also a width of 240 km. Scientists have also determined that the shortest stretch of this canal lies between the English town of Folkestone and Cape Grey in France. In case you are interested in one day crossing this beautiful canal, you might like the idea of doing it by boat or by boat. But due to certain problems or inconveniences that may exist with the weather, be they storms, lightning, storms or some tragic event that has already been registered in the past, it is recommended to be careful when passing through this marine route. That is why the Euro Tunnel was built in 1994, with the aim of safely crossing the English Channel. Surely you have already heard about the English Channel which divides France and England by the sea, this channel is known for many historical events that meant a great change in the history of Europe. More specifically those that are and linked to France and the United Kingdom. For example, this channel is known to be the reason that saved England from a Napoleonic invasion. And also from the Nazis during World War II. Therefore, due to the great historical wealth that this place keeps, Many venerate it as a place that had great importance in past centuries and will probably also have it in the future. Today we will see what is the origin, history, and reason for this curious name of the canal. Regarding the main characteristics of this channel, it is known that it has a length of 563 km and also a width of 240 km. Scientists have also determined that the shortest stretch of this canal lies between the English town of Folkestone and Cape Grey in France. In case you are interested in one day crossing this beautiful canal, you might like the idea of doing it by boat or by boat. But due to certain problems or inconveniences that may exist with the weather, be they storms, lightning, storms or some tragic event that has already been registered in the past, it is recommended to be careful when passing through this marine route. That is why the Euro Tunnel was built in 1994, with the aim of safely crossing the English Channel.
despite being considered an extension of sea, within the English Channel there are four main islands that have been classified as historic due to certain events and places that can be found in each of them. For example, the island of Jersey is a place where thousands of people from all over the world go to save their financial and economic resources because it is considered a tax haven. According to many people, in this place you can see wealthy people or people strolling in yachts, sailboats or residing in luxury hotels, in the same way there are a large number of hotels with ostentatious rooms to receive these people. Although the four islands are closer to France than to the United Kingdom, they are considered British for historical reasons. At the same time, the island of Guernsey also has its own fortress or castle and a beautiful European city called St. Peter Port. It stands out for its historical, literary, and artistic aspect, since it was here that the French writer Victor Hugo was in exile for 15 years. More exactly in Oatviller's house, it was in that place where it is said that the writer was inspired to write many of his famous works such as Les Miserables, The Workers of the Sea, The Legend of the Centuries, among other jewels. The Victor Hugo family acquired the mansion for years later to donate it to the Paris City Hall due to the celebration of the centenary of Romanticism. Finally, on the island of Ouiz Sant, which is also located in the English Channel, there is also a striking technological achievement, which is the most powerful lighthouse in all of Europe. Its objective is to guide all the ships that navigate the Channel Seas at night, reaching a power of up to 60 kilometers away. Despite being considered an extension of sea, within the English Channel there are four main islands that have been classified as historic due to certain events and places that can be found in each of them. For example, the island of Jersey is a place where thousands of people from all over the world go to save their financial and economic resources because it is considered a tax haven. According to many people, in this place you can see wealthy people or people strolling in yachts, sailboats or residing in luxury hotels, in the same way there are a large number of hotels with ostentatious rooms to receive these people. Although the four islands are closer to France than to the United Kingdom, they are considered British for historical reasons. At the same time, the island of Guernsey also has its own fortress or castle and a beautiful European city called St. Peter Port. It stands out for its historical, literary, and artistic aspect, since it was here that the French writer Victor Hugo was in exile for 15 years. More exactly in Oatviller's house, it was in that place where it is said that the writer was inspired to write many of his famous works such as Les Miserables, The Workers of the Sea, The Legend of the Centuries, among other jewels. The Victor Hugo family acquired the mansion for years later to donate it to the Paris City Hall due to the celebration of the centenary of Romanticism. Finally, on the island of Oue Sant, which is also located in the English Channel, there is also a striking technological achievement, which is the most powerful lighthouse in all of Europe. Its objective is to guide all the ships that navigate the Channel Seas at night, 
reaching a power of up to 60 kilometers away. Certain historical aspects of the English Channel are curious, such as the fact that at the bottom of the maritime zone it is very easy to find remains of sunken ships, ships, or other marine means of transport, either because they were looted, bombed, or destroyed by enemy vessels during World War II. Even today it is possible to continue finding the remains of those ships and submarines that were destroyed in those years and it allows us to reflect on all the events that occurred during this war. Another interesting fact is that Nazi Germany had the Atlantic Wall built when it controlled this area, serving as a chain of bunkers, tunnels and defensive structures that were intended to prevent the advance of enemy troops from the United Kingdom. Currently you can visit a museum that collects weapons, stories, and other objects belonging to that time. Many men have dreamed of breaking records and achievements in the seas of this area and few have succeeded. Such is the case of the English captain Matthew Webb, who at 27 managed to cross the channel from England to France taking 21 hours, this was achieved after several attempts to accomplish this feat. As time went by, more people became interested in swimming across the channel, there was even an 11-year-old boy who succeeded. The one who maintains the current record in crossing the English Channel is the American Chad Hundy by, who took only 7 hours and 17 minutes to cross the seas of this historic place. Without a doubt, the English Channel has become a maritime and historical site that has had great importance in many of the events that occurred in European history. It has also represented the division and union between two important countries, such as France and the United Kingdom. A maritime zone that reflects years of history, commerce, and art from all over Europe, Certain historical aspects of the English Channel are curious, such as the fact that at the bottom of the maritime zone it is very easy to find remains of sunken ships, ships, or other marine means of transport, either because they were looted, bombed, or destroyed by enemy vessels during World War II. Even today it is possible to continue finding the remains of those ships and submarines that were destroyed in those years and it allows us to reflect on all the events that occurred during this war. Another interesting fact is that Nazi Germany had the Atlantic Wall built when it controlled this area, serving as a chain of bunkers, 
tunnels and defensive structures that were intended to prevent the advance of enemy troops from the United Kingdom. Currently you can visit a museum that collects weapons, stories, and other objects belonging to that time. Many men have dreamed of breaking records and achievements in the seas of this area and few have succeeded. Such is the case of the English captain Matthew Webb, who at 27 managed to cross the channel from England to France taking 21 hours, this was achieved after several attempts to accomplish this feat. As time went by, more people became interested in swimming across the channel, there was even an 11-year-old boy who succeeded. The one who maintains the current record in crossing the English Channel is the American Chad Hundibai, who took only 7 hours and 17 minutes to cross the seas of this historic place. Without a doubt, the English Channel has become a maritime and historical site that has had great importance in many of the events that occurred in European history. It has also represented the division and union between two important countries, such as France and the United Kingdom. A maritime zone that reflects years of history, commerce, and art from all over Europe.